I'll bring so it. So these these are what is that in real life? Is that so does it actually look like that? It depends. Some of them are just farmland. Some of them are still lakes. They have bodies of water in them. They and mostly the, show up with lidar. Um, oh, look at this, Jamie. There are a few spots this, Jamie's uh, that you going to Google Earth. Yeah, yeah. You, you can see them on uh, on Google Earth. There's oh, that's there right that's, there. That's that's more of a, a natural lake, but they're they're literally everywhere and they overlap. The whole landscape's made up of them. Didn't they find most of them through lidar though? Yeah, so a lot lidar of them under the so sediment. They started yeah. to see them with aerial photography, and then lidar they just turned up everywhere under farmland. I wish I if I could I didn't send you the photos of the bays uh, with lidar, but the, it's just the, the crazy story about their creation is that these are splash damage from a cosmic impact into the ice, and they think it may be related to the younger dry. So one of the impacts into the ice kicks up massive ice boulders that are coming in at like you know six or seven kilometers per second that take seven or eight minutes of these you know, ballistic trajectories to come down from Saginaw Bay and then just all over the wow. all over the East Coast and Missoula. And it it would have exterminated anything that lived there. It literally liquefied the ground. The ground would have the earth the earthquakes and the impacts would have turned the ground into quicksand. Like we see in we've seen in the aftermath of earthquakes, you have cars that are half buried in mud. Like it literally liquefies the earth. And it was just a saturation bombardment on the East Coast. And it's people now just, you know, we play golf on them and <laughs> it's all this stuff. But there, it's a, it's a catastrophic landscape, the entire East Coast. Wow. Which and is what you would off ex- the coast as well. So there, here, this image is what? Yeah. This is from These, South Carolina's government page talking about it. Carolina wow. base. You see their ellipse, they're elliptical. They all orient in a certain direction. And so the conventional explanation is wind? Wind and, and basically water. Yeah, but it doesn't, there's... None of the experiments make sense. There's a guy on YouTube, um, Antonio Zamora. He's also written a paper on it and a couple of books. But he shows that yeah, it's there's always been a big debate about them. It's it's but but the by far the best I think explanation for them is the is the ice ice boulder hypothesis. It's crazy to think about it. Like you know, impact happens over here. Eight, nine, ten minutes later, you just have this rain of just destruction coming from the sky that, that obliterates the entire coast of the of the United States. That's what you'd expect if there's something that hit at, at a high speed and, and of course, there'd be fallout. Things would get sprayed about. It, it would make sense to find that if the Younger Dryas climate impact hypothesis is true, there would be something like they've, that. They've done experiments. Yeah, so they've like, you, you, you shoot like a bullet into ice at, at an angle and you, it shows like the shattering of ice and, the, and the, the, or, the orientation. So we can step backwards from the bays and look at, okay, what's the energy required for the impact and at what angle was the impact coming in? And they, it's something like it would have been probably a mile-wide impactor uh, up at Saginaw Bay that might have ejected that much ice to do that. <laughs> we're so vulnerable. Yeah, <laughs> Cosmic we're in trouble. We are gallery. so vulnerable, and we like to think this is all permanent. I mean, you think about how ridiculous human beings are. We spend most of our lives accumulating <laughs> stuff. <laughs> trying to get status, Mm -hmm. trying to, you know, fuck as many people as we can and get the biggest (laughs) house. And meanwhile, there's rocks headed our way that are going 45,000 miles an hour that could exterminate 90% of the population instantaneously and completely erase every little bit of information we've ever accumulated. All the knowledge, all of our history, all of our understanding of physics, mathematics, the astronomy, everything Dude. gone. See ya. Goodbye. Welcome to being a fucking ape man again. Yep. Welcome to like eating whatever the fuck you can get in your mouth <laughs> and dying when you're 12. And having people try to steal all that from you. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine? And within a, like what, like three, four generations, people would be. This is what I, I love the ancient Egypt analysis. You would be probably hammering a, a black rock into a shape like this. Like a phone and dancing around a cave, a, a fire, trying <laughs> yeah. to turn it on. Like if we dance around a fire hard enough, then this black rock will turn on and it'll right, give me the right. fucking answer to anything I want.